Question 14. The vertices of a triangle PQR are P negative 3, 2, Q 0, negative 1, and R 2, negative 1. A transformation matrix M maps triangle PQR onto triangle P prime, Q prime, R prime, whose vertices are P prime, negative 7, 2, Q prime, 2, negative 1, and R prime, 4, negative 1. Find the inverse of M, which is a transformation that maps P prime, Q prime, R prime onto P, Q, R. So for us to get the inverse of M, we have to find M first. And M is a 2 by 2 matrix, which we can have it as A, B, C, D. We are given the object, which is P, Q, R, and the image, which is P prime, Q prime, and R prime. And we know that if we take a matrix multiplied by the object, we should get the image. So we take A, B, C, D, which is our matrix M, multiplied by the object coordinates, that is negative 3, 2, 0, negative 1 for Q, and for R we have 2, negative 1. This should give us the coordinates of the image in that order. So we will have negative 7, 2. That is our P prime, 2, negative 1. For Q prime, 4, negative 1. For R prime. So if we take the first row multiplied by the first column, we should get the first x coordinate, which is negative 7. This means that a multiplied by negative 3 to give us negative 3a plus 2b is equal to negative 7. If we take the first row multiplied by the second column, we should get the second x coordinate, which is 2. So we have A multiplied by 0, which is 0, minus B multiplied by 1, which is B, negative, then is equals to 2. So negative B is equals to 2 implies that B is negative 2. So now we can substitute the value of B in equation 1 to get the value of A. We have negative 3a plus 2 multiplied by negative 2 for the value of b should be equal to negative 7. So we have negative 3a so negative 3a minus 4 is equals to negative 7. will be equal to negative 7 plus 4. And negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3. So we have negative 3a is equal to negative 3. We divide by negative 3. We divide by negative 3. And the value of a will be equal to 1. Now we have the value of B and the value of A. Now we can get the value of C by taking the second row. So we have A, B, C, D. We are multiplying by negative 3, 2, 0, negative 1, 2, negative 1 to get 
negative 7 2 2 negative 1 4 negative 1 now we are taking the second row to get the value of c and d so we have the second row multiplied by the first column to get the first y coordinate which is 2 this is negative 3c plus 2d is equals to 2 the second row multiplied by the second column we get the second y coordinate which is negative 1 so we have c multiplied by 0 which is 0 plus d multiplied by negative 1 which is negative d is equals to negative 1 in the second equation we can get the value of d we divide by negative 1 and by negative 1 therefore the value of d will be equal to 1 we can substitute the value of d in the equation 1 to get the value of c negative 3c plus 2 multiplied by 1 which is 2 is equals to 2 so negative 3c will be equal to 2 minus 2 which is 0 so negative 3c is 0 means that the value of c is equal to 0 now we have the matrix m which is the value of a 1 and the value of b negative 2 so we have 1 negative 2 the value of c 0 the value of d 1 but our question was asking us to find the inverse of matrix m to get the inverse of any given matrix we have to get its determinant and then we multiply the original matrix with the main diagonal changed and the minor diagonal the signs are the ones which will change then we multiply by the reciprocal of the determinant to get the determinant of a given matrix we take the product of the main diagonal minus the product of the minor diagonal so we have 1 multiplied by 1 to give us 1 minus 0 multiplied by negative 2 which is 0 and the determinant of this matrix M is 1. So for us to get M raised to power 1 which is M inverse we'll take 1 divided by the determinant which is 1 and 1 over 1 is 1. So we multiply by for the main diagonal we will change these numbers so we'll have 1 1 and for the minor diagonal we are supposed to change the signs so the sign which is negative 2 will be positive 2 and 0 does not have any sign so it remains as 0 then we multiply by 1 and this will be equal to 1, 2, 0, 1.